I waited so long for this movie to come out on Blu-ray. It was one of my favorite movies I watched last year and it's finally here and I watched it three times already. My name is Chet, this here is Chet Chet and we finally get to rewatch Shin Godzilla aka Godzilla Resurgence. So Shin Godzilla was a movie that came out last year in 2016. It was premiered in America around October so I watched it in theaters and you know I'm not really a big Godzilla fan so I just went in because you know it's a different movie it's something different to watch and I like giant monsters at least so when I went in to watch this movie I didn't really have any expectations really but I was just blown away I love the movie so much I just enjoyed it so I've just been itching like yo Funimation when you gonna release that blu-ray baby come on and then finally they released the date they said August 1st and I pre-ordered their Amazon got the blu-ray I watched it immediately in English dub because the first time I watched it it was subtitled and I'll get to that in a second so I watched it English dub and I watched the Japanese subtitle again then I watched an English dub again and I got halfway through watching it in Japanese subtitle so yeah obviously I love this movie and I'm you already know I'm gonna recommend it so whatever so let's just get right into the review right watching it first in Japanese is very different from watching it in English due to the nature of the story and the pacing of what Shin Godzilla is is actually the reason why somebody might prefer to watch it in English than read the Japanese unless you understand Japanese and you're good just forget it so Shin Godzilla is pretty much a reboot it is a flat-out reboot of Godzilla it is an origin story of Godzilla it has a twist on it though. I feel like the director, who was actually the director for Evangelion, the anime, if you haven't seen that, I don't know if I recommend it. You might get depressed. He actually put a, a spin on the movie where it's almost like a satire on government policies in Japan and how they deal with certain issues in Japan in a very, very bureaucratic manner. It is really the main reason of watching this movie. Of course you wanna watch Godzilla. You wanna see him. And I'll tell you straight up right now, Godzilla is in this movie way more than the Ryan Cranston Godzilla. Godzilla movie where I think he's in it for six minutes whereas Godzilla is a main focus in this movie even though it has this satirical government spin thing in the movie and that is where this movie will either make it or break it for you it made it for me because I really enjoyed how they portrayed the Japanese government in this movie where it's almost like a, a letter to the actual Japanese government like look at how dumb you handle situations sometimes and because of how you handle things bad things may happen because you're taking too long to justify your actions and it's almost like you're seeing this weird pull and push of the government bureaucracy that you just trying to figure out why the government is doing things certain ways and what they could have done to prevent certain things and then they're getting stressed out because you have obviously Godzilla just chilling over your shoulder making you force decisions while you're trying to be bureaucratic about it and that's the main thing about this movie it's just this bureaucracy about how to deal with Godzilla and for me it worked really well I love the dialogue I love everything that happened I, again I watched this movie a total almost five times now but if you don't understand Japanese and you have to read the subtitles like I do there is a lot of reading you have to do in this movie there is so much reading because there's so much dialogue in these little government offices and conferences and little meetings that the characters have but it's worth it it's very worth it and then I when I watched it in English to you know give my eyes a break because I want to make sure I got everything I, I felt like I might have missed something trying to read all of that text especially on a big screen where you have to read left and right I watched it in English unfortunately the English dub is really 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 bad and I'm not just saying that because like oh I, I like my, my anime in Japanese you be you be no no if it sounds better in English I'm gonna watch it in English why go through the trouble of reading it if I understand English you know I love Cowboy Bebop English I prefer that over the Japanese same for Samurai Champloo and all that there's a bunch of good English dub man but this was pretty damn bad so bad to the point that before watching Shin Godzilla I was watching Djibouti studios this other youtube channel and they're hella hilarious they're like mystery science theater 3000 on crack with no no censorship or anything so they dubbed over mortal Kombat, and it was great i was laughing my butt off but then when i watched shin godzilla it felt like Djibouti was dubbing shin godzilla with like the voices and stuff it felt like old school chinese movie voices and i was like this is pretty bad man it's really bad so then after watching it and being able to understand the story even better now because i uh, I, you know I understand English I was like uh, the trade-off is okay I guess because now I understand the story better but the English dubbing is really really bad I refuse to watch it again in English so and then when I watched it in Japanese and I read the subtitles again the subtitles actually turned out to be better than what was said in English they actually explained a little bit more with 
better grammar in a sense with the subtitles than the English. There was actually full sentences left out of the English dub that is actually in the Japanese subtitles, which is weird. I'm like, you have the subtitles. Why don't you just read the subtitles? But I guess they were trying to match the mouth movements and that's near impossible. In the end, you're better off just reading the subtitles. It kind of sucks, but you got to do it. So other than all that stuff, let's get down to the main thing that matters the most in a Godzilla movie. And that is Godzilla. And I, again, I'm not a huge fan of Godzilla. I don't, I could care less. Uh, I, I know of him. Godzuki. In this movie, I love the way how they portray Godzilla. He is amazing in this movie. In the beginning, when you first see him, you're like, what the hell is going on with this now? In this movie, Godzilla is actually an organism that evolves and stuff. So when the first time you see Godzilla, it does not look like Godzilla at all. But I like the fact that he turns out to look like Godzilla later in the movie. And he is like classic Godzilla. He's got the little arms, he's got the really big legs, the long tail, and the kind of upright posture of like a humanoid being. Whereas like, you know, in the, the latest United States version of Godzilla, he's more like a dinosaur. Like he has a long neck. He has a small head, but he still has like the long neck neck that's like a t-rex almost so shin godzilla actually takes it back to like og godzilla where he looks like you know a weirdo <laughs> even though he looks like that old school mascot in a rubber suit kind of thing he is such a frightening force in this movie he is legitimately a scary monster in this movie he, it's just really awesome how they portray him there's one part in a movie and i still remember watching this in the theater i i thank god i got to watch this in the theater man the way how the whole audience reacted to this one part in the movie what godzilla Godzilla did, everybody was like, oh, like you heard the hush over the crowd. It was just amazing just because of how frightening he was in this one point in the movie. And you realize that like, he's not just like this big doofy looking monster. He is a force to be reckoned with and he will murder everything. He could destroy the world. And the way how they portray that is just so good. I feel like because you have the Evangelion director behind this, he's able to make it more visceral in a sense, because of if you, if you've ever seen anything Evangelion, you'll know what I'm talking about. About. it's it's really it's really disturbing <laughs> it's also the fact that there's one part in the movie where they talk about how godzilla was made and because of how he was made he's not just a physical threat there's also something that he does chemically that is actually threatening to the world as well and i like that they even give you that amount of detail and it's like obviously yeah that makes perfect sense of course that would happen and i just love it <laughs> godzilla is great the way how to tell the story is great again it'll either make it or break it for you i definitely loved it a lot if you like quentin tarantino movie I think you'll like this in a sense that you got a lot of dialogue and there's a lot of back and forth, but not at that level where it's just mundane. But if you could tolerate a lot of talking, you'll like this movie a lot and it works. All right, so that's it. That's it for me gushing about Shin Godzilla, Godzilla Resurgence. I loved it to death. Definitely go ahead and buy that Blu-ray or DVD or whatever. The Blu-ray that I bought actually came with the Blu-ray, DVD, and a digital copy. I didn't look at any of the extras. I think the movie is just good enough on its own. I'm definitely gonna look at the extras, but man, I love this movie so much. It's so good. That's it for this one. My name is Chet. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you really like this video, go ahead and subscribe. We're going to talk a little bit more about a bunch of movies. And for those who actually saw Shin Godzilla, I want to ask you guys a question. Without spoiling too much in the comments, just say how you felt about the ending of the movie. I'm talking about all the way in the ending, like last five seconds of the movie, like maybe last 10 seconds. Just tell me how you felt. If you didn't watch it, go ahead and watch it and then come back to this video and tell me about it because what the hell